We just gotta drop right in there. Yes! Mission Impossible style! I got caught on the wall! Yeah, buddy! There is a branch that goes up there, though. Let's see if it goes up all the way. Okay, we'll go up here. The sun is, like, smashing me in the face. Could you not? <laughs> Alright. Oh, yes! What is this? Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going champs? We're playing Grounded. I decided to hit the record button on this video because I found something very interesting just up on the wall there. I was stood on one of these rocks and I noticed something between one of the cracks of the walls. It looked like a door. So I'm going to try and climb up there somehow and we're going to see if we can actually find out what's on the other side of the door. So I was stood, I think it was on this rock or maybe it was the mushroom. Yeah, it's just up there. You can see it. Between, like, just the cracks in those bricks. Oh, there's a spider there. There's a spider. And there's a few gnats around as well. I'm just gonna flog that one with my mint mallet. Yes, I just freshened his breath. <laughs> Take that, cheap. Here we go. We've got another... Uh, oh, okay. We have three spiders over there. That's all cool. No worries. I'm just gonna go over here away from the three spiders. One spider I can take on quite comfortably, right? Three spiders, though? How am I supposed to time that kind of blocking? I don't even think I can. Oh, there's bombardier beetles over here, dude. No! I hate them guys. I hate them. I hate their faces. And I hate the acid that they shoot out of their butts. Could you not fire acid out of your butt there, dude? That would be magical. The hardest part about dodging these guys, right? Is that you're constantly running into... Ugh. You can't, you can't strafe them. Just gonna have to whack this dude. Until he's just knocked out clean. Yes. Whack him. Whack him. We got him. Nice one. We're almost dead. <laughs> That's bad. All right, Bombardier Beetle. I'm going to grab your bits. Now, let me know in the comments if you've found anything interesting in this game that you want me to check out. And we will go and check it out. Also, if you've got any ideas on how we should build our base. I want your input on the base. I want this base to be magical. There's another bombardier beetle. Why you gotta be so present and he Oh god, oh god, it's a Spider-Man! It's a Spider-Man! <laughs> no! Alright. Oh, I got you, dude. I got you there, dude. Nice one with the blocks. These guys don't know who they're messing with. They call me the mint mangler. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they never call me that. They've never, never, ever called me that. Oh, we've got five poison arrows. One thing I've noticed, right, with the poison arrows, is they don't do a lot of damage over time. Not like you would expect. Why? Why are you so good at doing that move? Stop it. Yeah, flog him. Get him again. Nice. Now, there is the door up there. How are we supposed to get to that? It's all the way up there, dude. If we climbed up on that wall, we could probably drop down in there using our dandelion. That would be the best move. If you don't know, I'm going to show you guys where the best place is to get up on that wall. It's just over here where there's the spider webs. So I've been getting a fair few comments of people wanting me to take out the brood mother boss. It's like the, the spider boss that's in the hedge. It's a little bit hard to find. I actually ran into it by accident and died, right? Quite a while ago. So, I thought we would try and beat it though in this video. Now that I've got the mint hammer mallet thing, the wit mint macker. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh, oh, I'm on the grass. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, maybe on the grass we can, we can climb the grass and get all the way up there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no! Ow. Can we jump from here? <laughs> yes! Yes, we made it! Awesome! Okay, I'm up on the wall now. Under construction! Okay. So this whole area here is like sections of the game where they could add more content. At the moment, it's just grass. Oh, and there's a pond as well. There's like a whole other pond up here. We should go and check out what's on the other side of the pond. That's something that I've wanted to do. There's like, there is stuff over there. There's flowers and bushes and things like that. And that looks like there's something over there as well. Oh, we've gone too far. I think it's about here somewhere. Whew. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it, dude? Is it just down here? I think it's just down here. I think it's in this crack. All right, we just gotta drop right in there. Yes! 
Mission Impossible style. I got caught on the wall. Yeah, buddy. It says minent, ominent, <laughs> ominent. Oh, oh, what was that? What is that? Let me in. Let me in. I want to check out all your secrets. There's buttons. Okay, there's buttons. What else is there? You guys just pause the video and you can find out. There's something with teeth. What is that purple thing with teeth? Brute force our way into this door. Urgh, urgh, come on, hacks. Glitch me through the door. Whenever you want a game to glitch, it doesn't glitch. Whenever you don't want it to glitch though, your PC sets fire. That's what happens. I mint mallet my way in. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, bro. Yeah. This door doesn't even know what mints are. But let me in. <laughs> so I have no idea what that is. But if you guys have some guesses, let me know in the comments what you think it is. It's definitely some kind of like berry with a face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that could very well be it. Maybe they were doing science on some of the berries. Okay, super armor glue I just made. So I should be able to repair my helmet. Let's repair that. Awesome. Now what happens if I try and repair What's going on with the game? Why am I bent over like that? Stop it. Can I repair this? I can't repair that yet. Okay. Let's repair my knees. Why are you leaning, champ? Stop it. Freaking me out. Wear that thing. I was finally able to craft the insect axe and I was able to get rid of my old crappy axe. You guys don't know how glad I am to finally have a better axe. I just hadn't done it. But now that I've got the good axe, I should be able to chop stuff down like really quickly. Let's just go check it out. I like this clover. Yeah, that's good, like two hits. That's so good. What about a chunk of grass? Let's try it. <laughs> oh, dude, three hits? I think for fungal growth, we actually have to kill the weevils that have been infected. I don't think a regular one will actually do it. Hey, it's a snail shell. Could we do something with this snail shell? Are there gonna be snails in the game? Oh, <laughs> little gnat. <laughs> he doesn't want to handle with a mint, mint mallet. It's the same mint mango. That's Slime Rancher. That's not this game. Oh yes, 100 raw science. So, so we've got Tiny Town coming up next, right? The usual Tiny Town on Monday. I was thinking of actually adding in some kind of, you know, grounded reference or something like that into Tiny Town. Let me know in the comments if you've got some ideas of something I could add into Tiny Town. Wow, there is so much nectar over here. I'm grabbing all of it. This is so good. Aphid honeydew. No, nectar. Does that give me... That gives me back hunger and both thirst. Okay, that's really good. Smash down that nectar, man. That's delicious and you got plenty of them. Alright, let's have a look over here. So there should be a little infected weevil running around that we can kill and get some fungus stuff to make a bomb. There he is over here. Nice, maybe I can get a cheeky shot with the bow. I missed. Oh, got him. He's gonna blow. Nice, he didn't kill us. Okay, that acid stuff hurts, I think. <laughs> Fungal growth, one. Bomb number two, thank you very much. It's time to go and take on the brood mother. We need to do this, man. We need to head over to the hedge. Got the mint mallet. We've got a reasonable amount of like armor and stuff like that left. I think we're gonna be okay. Ow! Where did you come from? I was just checking the map, dude. I wonder if that thing followed me all the way from the infected zone. Okay, I decided to sleep first. I need to smash some food into me. There we go, get some food. Awesome. That way we're not actually fighting the thing in the dark and we can see what's going on. Okay, let's just jump up on here. We're gonna climb the wall, get back in and around the secret lab and climb to the very top. Oh yeah, there's a spider. Let's get some practice in. Let's fight one of these things. Let's go, dude. You missed, you missed. Got him, got him with the block. Nice one. This mint mallet is so good. Nice, get a few cheeky hits in. And one more should just finish him off. Why is my armor running out even though I'm not being like actually hit by them? I don't know. Hey, you wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight, little one? It's a little orb weaver. 
Ow, he actually got me. Well, good hit then. One more. One more and he's dead. So there was an update to the game. I wonder if they've actually unlocked that yet. No, they haven't. Okay then. All right, I'm up on the secret base again. I'm just gonna head over this way and have a look up on this branch near where that weird little pod thing was. Just to see if the frisbee is up around there somewhere. Let's just have a quick look. So the pod thing is over here. And I couldn't actually get to it. See, it's like under it. There is a branch that goes up there though. Let's see if it goes up all the way. Okay, we'll go up here. The sun is like smashing me in the face. Could you not? <laughs> all right. Oh yes! What is this? It's a little lab! With some raw data! We just got 500! And we got a scamp! Version 211. Oh cool! We got some different colours and stuff on our scamp. Well that's good. You can see the entire garden from here! Man that is awesome! There's like paint buckets over there. And there's like a little, like a deck to the house. And there's a bunch of grass over there, and you can see like other homes and things. Okay. So those scab things you unlock must be like little sort of color schemes or something like that for the menu. Oh, you can see all the spiders inside of the lab. Just run around, killing all the dudes. I think I've actually checked out all of the caves in the game so far. If you know of any caves though that I haven't found, let me know in the comments. Actually, there is that one that we just found. The one with all the lava or larvae around it. So maybe we should check that one out at some point. Maybe in the next video. I don't know what's down there, but I don't know if there's that lava stuff around it. Man, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm legit scared. I hate those things. Okay, up in the trees. Let's have a little bit of a look around here. There is some raw science. I'm going to get some of that. Nice. Thanks, champ. Thanks for the raw science. Whatever that actually is. I mean, I've never eaten science before, so... But I don't know how it could be raw. Oh, dude, that is so much liquid! <laughs> so much! Oh, yeah, look at this! Wow, it's the mother load! I'm gonna stock up. I'm stocking up! Okay, scoop! Scoop that bad boy! Get that in the canteen! I don't even know what that is. I bet it's delicious, though. Apricot juice! That sounds nice. Oh, there it is! There it is! Okay, we gotta get over there somehow. Huh? <laughs> YOLO! Nice! Oh, did I make it? I just made it. Okay, where could we set up this bomb? Hmm, the flying man disc. <laughs> oh, there it is. Can it see me? Does it know I'm here? I don't think so. There is an orb weaver there as well. Okay, we can definitely stand over the top here. And there is probably a spot we could stick like a bomb on the other side. If we could get over the other side, I just fell. I just totally fell. Are you serious, champ? See, I reckon the spiders probably aren't gonna come off that disc. Let's just have a bit of a look and see if we can place a trap. Okay. Let's just get up here. I can't actually place a trap. I almost died again. Oh, oh, they see me now. They see me now, dudes. All right. Can they actually get me from all the way up here? I mean, I could probably shoot them right, but could I hit them with like a bomb or something like that? Can we throw a bomb? Yeah, got him. He, he, they're running. Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> yes, explodey bombs! Take that one, dude. Take that one. Nah, it just it just stopped. I just killed a tiny little spiderling with a bomb. Yes! Alright, can we shoot this one? We'll shoot this guy. Just shot him. Nice, that did a good amount of damage. Got an arrow called a gas arrow. Which you make from, like, the stink bug parts. Take that, dude. How do you like those? Alright, regular arrows. Got him. That's killing him. That gas arrow is so good. It actually did some damage to the broodmother while it was stood there. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this orb weaver. There we go. Can I hit that little spiderling as well? Oh, just smashed him! <laughs> right in front of its mum! <laughs> Oops. Alright. Get the other one. Oh, nice one, dude. Nice one! Okay, it's time to 1v1 this thing! Let's go, champ! Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the move. 
Nice, blocked. Go again. Got him. Go again. Yeah. This one's actually possibly easier than a wolf spider. I'm not gonna lie. Because a wolf spider moves after it attacks. Whereas this one's actually staying stationary just like an orb spider. That was actually really easy. <laughs> Are you serious? Why was that so easy? I love how you can pick up your arrows once you're actually, you know. Oh, there's another scab! Yeah! I got the supreme scab! That's, that's just my, been my dream my entire life. Got up every day and looked at my dream board. The entire dream board just said supreme scab. 10 out of 10 bucket list 2020. Hey, little ant, you see me kick that spider's bum? Did it. Did it. 100 raw data. So what else is in this tree? What's past here? Those gas arrows, man, those things are OP. I'm totally making more of them. So the broodmother has been killed. In the next video, we're actually gonna increase our base. Now that I've got the ax, I'm gonna be able to build those weed stem walls. And I'm gonna need lots of them. And we're gonna check out that cave that's got like all of those larvae in it. I have no idea what's down there. And if you guys know of any other stuff, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.